Automatic transmissions contain dozens of moving parts with tiny passages that are extremely vulnerable to deposits. Modern transmissions are victims of intense heat, which causes fluids to oxidize rapidly, forming harmful deposit buildup. The BGPF5 has earned a reputation of being the workhorse for transmission fluid replacement. And when used as part of the BG transmission service, you have the right combination of cleaning and conditioning technology. The BGPF5 provides your customers with a proven fountain of youth for transmissions. The BGPF5 is built to handle years of heavy workloads due to high quality construction. BG Products Incorporated enhances its line of PF5 machines by introducing the BGPF5 metered output power flush and fluid exchange system. The BGPF5 metered output reduces waste and lost time by allowing the operator to use the exact amount and type of fluid required for each service. This means a more automated, efficient, and profitable service for you and your customers. The BGPF5 metered output requires only the careful completion of a few sequential steps, beginning with bringing the engine to normal operating temperature. With the engine warmed up, check the fluid level in the transmission. If it's more than a quart low, add fluid. But remember to leave room for about 11 ounces of BG Quick Clean for automatic transmissions, part number 106, that's used to remove deposits. Note. For vehicles without dipsticks, with the BGPF5 attached, install BG Quick Clean, BG ATC Plus, or additional automatic transmission fluid. With the vehicle's engine running, pour the desired amount of fluid into the manual fill funnel. Do not open the manual fill ball valve. Set the pump switch to the add fluid position until the funnel is empty. Then set the pump switch to the off position. Now you're ready to add a can of BG Quick Clean. To make certain that the cleaner penetrates every internal part of the transmission, the vehicle should be driven for about 15 minutes. If it's not possible to drive the vehicle, place it on a lift just high enough for the wheels to clear the floor. With the engine running, shift the transmission through all the gears. Thereby, you're ensuring that the transmission's valve body is actuated and that the cleaner is flowing to all parts. As you shift gears, be sure that the brake is fully applied and the drive wheels have stopped turning between gear changes. Otherwise, damage to the transmission or differential assemblies may result. After adding the fluid, the vehicle should not run longer than 30 minutes before performing the fluid exchange. The vehicle is now ready for the transfusion. Turn off the engine. Now, locate a junction in either of the two transmission lines. Disconnect the transmission lines and install the appropriate adapters. For more information, see Possible Points of Connection in the BGPF5 Reference Manual. Be aware that some cars run engine oil cooler lines to the radiator. Be sure you locate the transmission line, separate the line, and attach the adapters. Open the vent valve on the side of the unit to be certain that there is no pressure in the machine. The vent valve must be closed before operating the BGPF5. Connect the service hoses to the adapters. Either hose can be attached to either adapter because flow direction will be corrected once the vehicle is started. Turn the control lever to check flow recharge and start the vehicle's engine. Don't forget to check for leaks. Determine the flow direction through the sight glass. The flow should be from right to left. In order to correct the flow, rotate the correct flow lever 90 degrees. Note, the control lever must remain in the check flow recharge position until the flow direction has been corrected. With the engine running, turn the control lever to the process setting. The transmission pump begins the transfusion immediately by pumping its used fluid into the collapsed compartment of the cylinder. This instantly exerts pressure on the diaphragm, which forces new fluid out through the service hose and into the transmission at the same rate of flow and pressure that the used fluid is pumped into the tank via the other service hose. A preset bypass valve will open after a pressure differential exists between the new and used fluid lines. For the best results, the operator should be inside the vehicle, shifting the transmission through its gears as before to ensure the used fluid is purged from the valve body. The transfusion is complete when a pressure differential is noted between the new and used ATF gauges. Note, 
The BGPF5 model contains a booster pump that can be engaged to speed up the exchange on low pressure, low flow transmissions. To activate the pump, connect the 12 volt cables to the vehicle's battery and set the switch to the boost position. You will see a reduction in pressure on both gauges. This is normal and you should note an increase in flow on the sight glass. Turn the booster off when the exchange is complete. The booster pump can be turned on or off at any point during the exchange or process mode. When the transfusion is complete, check the level of fluid in the transmission. Leave room to add a can of BGATC Plus part number 310. If you need to remove some fluid to make room for the conditioner, leave the engine running, turn the control lever to check flow recharge, secure the drain valve hose in the container. Caution, the fluid will be very hot. Slowly open the drain valve to dispense the fluid you wish to remove. Now shut off the engine. Turn the control lever to pressure release to remove any pressure trapped in the system. Disconnect the service hoses. Remove the adapters and reconnect the transmission fluid lines. Add the contents of a can of BGATC Plus if it was not already added. The service is complete. During the recharge process, do not attempt to apply air or fluid pressure to the service hoses because they are not regulated and the system will be damaged. For pressurized recharging, turn the control lever to check flow recharge, turn the correct flow lever to recharge, and apply the pressurized ATF to the number 19 recharge adapter on the recharge port. Let the chamber fill until the used ATF gauge reads zero and the pressure on the new ATF gauge starts to rise. This reading indicates that all the used fluid has been expelled and the tank is now filled with new fluid. Turn the control lever to pressure release and remove the pressurized ATF so pressure is vented back into the service hoses and into the used oil storage tank through the opened hose. Recharging is complete. The BGPF5 is ready for the next vehicle service. For manual recharging, turn the control lever to check flow recharge. Turn the correct flow lever to recharge and attach the number 19 recharge adapter to the recharge port on the side of the cabinet. Make sure the vent valve on the side of the BGPF5 is closed. Place the hose from the vent valve into a clean, empty container. Attach the number 6 adapter to the end of the red marked service hose and place the end into the used oil receptacle. Apply shop air into the recharge adapter on the recharge port until the pressure reading on the used ATF gauge reads zero. This indicates that all used ATF has been expelled and that the bladder is fully collapsed against the bottom of the tank. Remove the air supply and turn the control lever to pressure release until the new ATF gauge reads zero. Remove the recharge adapter. Next, remove the manual fill cap and slowly open the manual fill valve. Open the vent valve on the side of the BGPF5. This will allow air to escape from the tank while pouring in the ATF and will also make it easy to tell when the system is properly filled. You will need 7, 4, or 3 gallons of the appropriate new ATF, depending on the tank capacity of the particular unit. Pour ATF into the funnel until a solid stream of fluid runs out of the vent valve. This signals that the system is completely full and there is no air in the lines. Allow the ATF to drain out of the vent valve until the level in the funnel is just below the manual fill valve. The ATF captured from the vent valve is new and can be used or put back into the new ATF supply container. Close the manual fill valve and replace the manual fill cap. Remove the adapters. Recharging is complete. The BGPF5 is now ready for the next service.
The BGPF5 allows the user to recharge less than the full capacity of the tank by limiting the amount of used fluid removed from the tank. This procedure assumes the tank is full of dirty fluid, not air, and can be done as follows. Turn the process control lever to end recharge and the correct flow lever to recharge. Attach the number 6 adapter to the end of the red marked service hose and place the end into the used oil receptacle. Attach the number 19 recharge adapter to the recharge port on the side of the cabinet. Make sure the vent valve on the side of the BGPF5 is closed. Apply shop air to the recharge port. Zero the display on the totalizing meter by pressing the button on the right hand side. Turn the control lever to check flow recharge. The totalizing meter should start to register the amount of used fluid removed from the bottom of the tank in quarts. When the totalizing meter shows the amount of fluid desired to perform the next service, turn the control lever to the end recharge position. This will stop the flow from the bottom of the tank. Remove the air supply and turn the control lever to pressure release until the new ATF gauge reads zero. Remove the manual fill cap and open the manual fill valve. Open the vent valve on the side of the BGPF5. This will allow air to escape from the tank while pouring in the ATF and will also make it easy to tell when the system is properly filled. Pour ATF into the funnel until a stream of fluid runs from the vent valve. This should equal the amount of fluid registered on the totalizing meter. Close the manual fill valve and replace the manual fill cap. Remove the adapters. Recharging is complete. The BGPF5 is now ready for the next service. The following procedure applies to removing new ATF from a fully charged unit. This is necessary to charge the unit with a different transmission fluid or to empty the unit for maintenance. Attach the number 6 adapter to the end of the red marked service hose and place the end into the appropriate receptacle. Locate the bladder inverting port inside the unit and attach the number 19 recharge adapter. Turn the control lever to process and the correct flow lever to pressure release. Apply shop air into the number 19 recharge adapter until only air is exhausted from the service hose. Be sure to use regulated air pressure not to exceed 60 psi. Too much air pressure will cause most of the air to bypass the tank resulting in a mixture of air and ATF to be exhausted. Turn the correct flow lever 90 degrees to release pressure from the used fluid side of the unit. The BGPF5 is now empty and can be recharged with a different ATF. The BGPF5 metered output power flush and fluid exchange system represents new opportunities for you and for the customers you serve. The BG Transmission Service is one of a complete line of profitable automotive services available in the BG Maintenance Awareness Program. BG Products Incorporated, your partner in service success.